Because I didn't have any symptoms, it really caught me off guard. So many of us are, are walking around with this and, um, you know, and they don't know it until it's too late. Any pain when I push on you? I'm a gastroenterologist and hepatologist evaluating and treating patients with liver disease, predominantly those with non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH. It's the most common liver disease in the United States and now even throughout the world. As an endocrinologist, I see a lot of patients with type 2 diabetes and these patients are at very high risk of fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is a silent disease in general and people may not know they have it. The excess energy stored in the liver doesn't harm the liver. However, in about 25% of cases of patients with fatty liver, it can lead to damage. And that's what we call the hepatitis, which is inflammation of the liver. Patients with diabetes are at much higher risk of having fatty liver disease. Um, these are patients that are very insulin resistant, which is at the core of the pathogenesis of fatty liver disease. They have very high risk, not only of liver morbidity and mortality, but also of cardiovascular disease as well. So it's a very complex disorder that really needs multifactorial approaches to its treatment. The only way you can really treat this disease is to use the whole body to unburden the liver of all of those excess calories it's trying to manage. That's one of the things that's got people excited about FGF21 analogs as a class for treating NASH. FGF21 is this extraordinary natural hormone coupling a local effect to preserve against cellular stress with this whole body systemic effect to regulate metabolism. We believe it has really the potential to address all of these core drivers of NASH pathology. This is Akira Therapeutics. We're based out of South San Francisco, California. We've always been a virtual company, which really allows us to pull from experts in their field, regardless of where they're located. Akiro's founding is a story of the right team with the right vision at the right time. What we were looking for were compounds that represented novel, exciting, fundamental human biology and had the potential to have a transformative impact on patients worldwide. Around about 2016, there was a lot of literature that was coming out talking about those protective effects of FGF21 on cells. We knew that uh, Amgen had the molecule to beat. We negotiated terms of a deal with Amgen in the summer of 2017. EFX was a medication that acts not only to reduce production of fat in the liver, but also acts in the periphery on inflammation and also on fibrosis to improve many of the defects leading to NASH. If you're really going to produce a sustainable benefit for somebody who has NASH, you actually need to get the whole body into a healthy state. The exciting thing about Ifruxifermin is it's combining those good effects on whole body metabolism with good effects in the liver. Where we're able to develop a compound that can treat the person as a whole, that's the holy grail and that's the target of what we're trying to do in drug development for NASH. We've been working with Akira for the past two, two and a half years with the start of the BALANCE study. And it's been a great experience for us. They're a company that's very high science, um, very dedicated. The purpose of um, BALANCE was really to, to actually show that the, the mechanism of EFX actually worked as expected and that we saw this balanced agonism um, and therefore saw significant levels of fat reduction. Amazingly, with 16 weeks of therapy, we're able to defat the liver in a significant way in the majority of patients. This was associated with significant reductions in liver chemistry tests. We also see as an improvement in the patient's overall lipoprotein profile. What we saw in those patients was a significant reduction in hemoglobin A1C from baseline and also saw improvement of markers of insulin sensitivity, so reductions in insulin and C-peptide and reductions also in the HOMA IR. One of the striking things about Ifruxifermin is the consistency of the effects. The improvements in diabetes were evident after 16 weeks in people with NASH, and then when we went to the really seriously ill cirrhotic NASH patients, we saw exactly the same magnitude of improvement. 
we looked at the liver biopsies, we were able to see significant improvements in a short period of time. Many patients having a two-stage improvement in fibrosis over this 16-week period. More specifically, when we focus on cohort C, looking specifically at well-compensated cirrhotic patients. A third of our patients were no longer cirrhotic when repeat liver biopsy was performed. We're in the process of uh, developing new drug material, drug substance and drug product that will be used for our phase three studies after the completion of our phase two B studies. We selected Boehringer Ingelheim, one of the world's largest manufacturers of biological medicines. Boehringer Ingelheim has been engaged in contract manufacturing for 35 years now. What sets us apart is that we strongly believe in partnering with our clients it has always been a pleasure working together with Acaro. At Boehringer Ingelheim, we are always interested to develop and manufacture new drugs which serve unmet medical needs by the patients. Our standard is quality first. The Fruxifermin has the potential to have a dramatic impact on patients with non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. I can't wait to see if we can confirm these results and move forward with the drug development with this class of medication. It isn't a good situation. I'm not in a good place. This is the first opportunity that I've had given my diagnosis of hopefully getting a treatment here.